So, we are here because this, not this past weekend, but I think now the weekend before. Yeah, but I think it was two weeks, weeks ago. Weeks. That's crazy. Um, we went a little pop crazy. So, we went to Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and I think we got one from think, GameStop. Yeah, we got one from GameStop, and then we went to Think Geek. Think geek, but we, we didn't buy any there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we wanted to show you what we got. I'll go ahead and give you this one, hun, to start with. Uh, are we gonna open it? Or, or you can just show them, and then I can do a close up. Right, so I found this one. I don't remember the name of it. Hot that one was hot topic. Mm -hmm. I got with Bob Easter. Ross. And something cool about Bob Ross is, I mean, of course, he's the only one. I just love him because I love the way he approaches life. Well, he approached life, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel I love art, and I love the bag too. So if you can see, but it's Bob Ross, and I love his afro. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so when we went, Hot Topic was having, I believe, a three for thirty deal. Mm -hmm. So we got the Bob Ross, and then we got two of the Cocoa Pops. We were able to get Hector and Ernesto. Um, there are only three in the collection, so the third one would have been Miguel but we were not able to find Miguel. I imagine he's going to be the one that's going to be the trickiest to get. Yeah. Um, but these are, I'm just so excited for this movie. We both love Book of Life, and I know that that's very um, important to your culture, very pertinent yeah, to I you. Love so. the dad, and um, I just hope it's different than the Book of Life, because I don't want to... I don't think it's going to be... I don't I think Coco will be anything like Book of Life. I think that yeah. they're going to try to make it different on purpose because they know Book of Life is out. Um, but just from the previews that I've seen it looks fantastic. And it's Disney and Pixar so I'm yeah. sure I'm gonna love it. So I went ahead and picked those up even though we haven't seen the movie yet. Um, you and never then, know. Yeah, you never know. And then um, also from Hot Topic, so we must have got four then from Hot Topic. Unless... Yeah, we did. And I remember yes. because this one is the Diamond Collection Bell. Um, so they released they released this Disney Beauty and the Beast original set with Belle, Gaston, and the Beast from the classic animated movie a while ago. They've since then released Pops for the new live action movie, but to celebrate the 60th, they released a diamond collection Belle, so she's just completely glittered, which I think is really cool. So I got that at the same time that we got those ones at Hot Topic. And then I think these ones were all from um, Box Lunch. So yes. which one do you want to show? No, Luna. We got Luna actually. Yeah, with Box Lunch. Yeah. yeah, these are all Box Lunch. These three. You want to show Luna? I'll show Luna. Okay. This is Luna and Kelly knows about more about Harry Potter so she can tell you all about that. But something interesting about this pop is that we couldn't find it. First we went to Think Geek and Kelly was looking at this collection of Harry Potter. And um, we cannot find Harry, of course, it's one of the mm -hmm. hardest to get. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I like the Luna one. Um, I like the little, what's the line, right, Kate? She, she yeah, like line so like in the movie, um, she shows up at a Quidditch m match in support of Gryffindor wearing this huge lion head hat because uh, she's Luna. So she's a little exec eccentric. Um, but that's what makes her so fun. And then I also got the Hermione and Ron from that same collection. So the ones that you were able to get from this new release are Harry, Hermione, Ron, Remus Lupin, Ginny, Luna, and Pettigrew. I haven't seen Peter Pettigrew. I haven't seen Ginny. Um, we were not able to find Ginny. We were not able to find Harry. They did have Peter Pettigrew. They had it both at Box Lunch and at Think Geek. Mm -hmm. When we went, we didn't get anything from there. But I don't care for Peter Pettigrew, so I just didn't pick him up. Um, I think he's just a skeevy man, but I got Hermione and Ron, and it's cool because Ron is actually holding scabbers. I will do a close-up of them out of the box so you can see them better, and then Hermione has her time turner and her wand, so these are based from the Prisoner of Azkaban live action where they are, where they are in muggle or normal clothes. They're not in their robes. And Ron has scabbers, and like I said, she's got her time turner. Harry's actually in his pajamas and has the Marauder's Map in that scene where he's trying to find um, Peter Pettigrew on the map. So there's that. 
And then this one is the one that we got from Atomic. GameStop. Oh, yeah, GameStop. Yes. GameStop. Um, and it's Remus Lupin. So out of the collection of seven, I have four. Yeah. So the only ones I'm missing are Harry, Ginny, and Peter Pettigrew. And so. I think of the same collection, I, I tag Caitlin. Is Snape, remember, as... He's dressed up as yeah, a woman. Yeah, he's a, he's a bogger. Um, right. When, yeah, so when Neville, when Professor Lupin is telling the Lupin. students how to beat the bogger, they have to imagine them, that bogger, in a funny way. So he, Neville, is afraid of Snape. So when the bogger appears as Snape, then he thinks of him in Snape dressed as his grandmother, wearing his grandmother's clothes. So then the Bogart changes to Snape in his grandmother's clothes and then Neville can stop him. Um, so there's that pop, Snape in gra Neville's grandmother's clothes. I think it's kind of like the Chaser, the special edition one in, in this set, but... Because he's not on the back of the box, so... That's how you know they're special. Yeah. But that's everything. There are six, seven, eight pops in total. That's Out of, <laughs> we have 70, 70, 80 pops Craziness. Now. Um, but I'm going to unbox them all and give you a close-up so you can see them in the detail a bit better. And then I probably will be filming an updated pop collection just because we're yeah, ridiculous more, yeah. and have a lot. Um, but I love them all, so. <laughs> Alright, please make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you later. Bye! Alright guys, so here's an updated, or not an updated, sorry. Here's a close-up look of our pops out of the box. So we are starting off with Bob Ross. You can see the detail on his painter's palette. He's really cute. And then here is Hector and his little gold tooth. His head moves, by the way. Oh, yeah, we found that out when we were putting his them together. Hurts, yeah. There's Ernesto. Here is the diamond edition of Belle and her glitter glory. Here is Ron and Scabbers. Hermione and her time turner and wand. Remus Lupin. I actually really like the detail of the wolf scratch across his face. And he's got on his professor um, attire. attire, yeah, I guess, and his wand. And then Luna is probably one of my favorites. Look at her. She's so pretty. I don't know. I'm, between right now, out of those, all of those pops, I would say. Uh, the Cocoa Pops, it's like I'm saying, like the cereal. And Bob Ross. Because I can't compete with that after. That's all of them. We're very happy. Our collection is definitely growing. Mm -hmm. and we're going to keep buying more. We, we're definitely, I'm into Pops right now. Mm-hmm.